17th start of the season for Jose Barrios, and no surprise here, Alex Cora stacks up a bunch of left-handed hitters in the lineup against the Toronto right-hander. Jaron Duran, the center fielder, is going to lead it off for the Red Sox. Swing and a miss. The changeup from Jose Barrios gets his first challenger of the night. So now Verdugo, whose presence so welcome back in the lineup for the Red Sox, left-handed hitter. Jose on the 2-2, swing and a miss. Got him with a slur. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Barrios. Runner at first, two down. The 2-2. Hit high in the air out to right field. Springer started back. Now he motors forward. Gets there in time to make the catch. And retired Devers and the Red Sox. A scoreless first inning of work for Jose Barrios. A big night here from James Paxton. Remember, a little scare last Saturday coming out after four innings with that left knee soreness. The Blue Jays, one of the best fastball hitting teams in the league. Swing and a miss, and down goes... George Springer on 97 miles an hour, one away. Wentz on a pitch down into the dirt. It moves away from Wong. He'll flip it on to first. And Bichette is done. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here for Paxton. Which will bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Had not homered in this ballpark all season long. Swing and a high fly into center field. Duran back at the track. Jaron at the wall. He leaps and he makes the play. Right at the top of the wall. Not sure it would have gone out, but it was extra bases all the way. Vladdy's only reaction is to raise his cap in appreciation for the defensive effort. Thank you very much, Mr. Duran. No score after one in Toronto. Justin Turner leads off the second. Jose Barrios deals. Barrios gets him up in the zone. Third strikeout already for Jose. Yeah, he's got good life on that fastball. Rio wrapped on the ground towards first. Diving stop by Guerrero. Pops up, runs to the bag to get the out. We've seen some flashes of some really spectacular defense from Vladdy so far this season. No score. And it's going to have gone by here at Rogers Center. Bottom two, nothing across at Rogers Center. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and Chapman is James Paxton's third strikeout victim. He is popped up high and deep down the right field line, slicing toward the line. Verdugo over with about three feet of fair territory left. He's there to make the play, and it's a pitcher's duel through two. Bottom three, no score in Toronto with Merrifield. Paxton very sharp out of the gate on number two. Another 0-2 on the way. And a swing and a miss, and Wong hangs on to it on a cutter again from Paxton who is fan five and leaves the man in the third. Good ball game cruising along here in downtown Toronto. One, two. Swing and a miss. Verdugo down on strikes. Another strikeout for Jose Barrios. Two up and two down. Rafael Devers chops one out to Espinal. Handles on the backhand. Gets his balance. Throws to first. In time to retire Devers and the Red Sox in order. So four. Pretty much spotless work for Jose Barrios through four frames. Well, if you're just joining us, you've joined another pitcher's duel. Justin Turner leading off the fifth inning in a scoreless game. Swing and a high drive in a left field. Way back at the track. Merrifield is there. He watches it. Gone. End of the bullpen. A home run for Justin Turner. And the Red Sox break the scoreless tie. They lead it one to nothing. What an at-bat. Not so fast. That short swing from Turner. He would foul off himself. As you see, Christian Arroyo getting some attention as he found that ball just above that shin guard. He's going to have to order a larger shin guard. Is strike three on the inside corner. The slurve lands in the glove of Danny Jansen. He hauls in strike three, and the side is retired. Well, after the home run, Barrios bounces back and retires the next three to face him. Austin won on the Justin Turner home run. Blue Jays nothing. Connor Wong. Jaron Duran and then Alex Verdugo to bat. He hits a bullet. That one socked down the left field line. Merrifield's going to play it off the wall. And Connor Wong is into second base with a stand up double. Nice start here to the sixth inning for the Sox. Uh, it feel good for Connor. Corners come in as Jaron Duran steps into the left hand box. 0 for 2, a strikeout and a ground down. And a high fly ball left center field. Racing back Varsho. He's turning around. That's gone. A home run. That baby took off, and the Red Sox are on top, three to nothing. Duran showing some muscle. First pitch, hunting with a two-run shot to center. One out, no one out. Here's Masataka Yoshida swinging a fly ball, struck well right field. Springer goes back, looks up, and that ball is gone. Masataka Yoshida goes deep to right. It's the second Sox home run of the inning, and it's now four nothing. Red Sox unloading on a blast from Yoshida. 444 feet for Massa. They do get to a clearly rattled Barrios. 
Bottom of the sixth inning, some run support for Mr. Paxton here. Red Sox on top, four nothing. Varsho on as he will bunt for a single. As good as he has been, James Paxton has been dealing with a right knee issue. At short, Hamilton gets in front of it, gets it out there, on to first, quick turn, and yes, the double play. Second one, the Red Sox have turned tonight. Red Sox up 4 0 in the six. Paxton's 3 2, and Springer swings and he grounds it to third. Devers fields fair in the corner. Long throw on a hop. Casas picks and they got him. Some fine glove work from the Red Sox behind James Paxton in the sixth. We go to the seventh in Toronto. The Red Sox lead the Blue Jays 4 0. Bottom seven. Red Sox with a 4 0 lead behind James Paxton. This is impressive. It's this Toronto team hits fastballs real well, better than anybody in the league. Paxton dominates with fastballs, and he's running through them. Springer without a hit. Bichette without a hit. Vlad Guerrero without a hit. Matt Chapman's 0 for 2. And it's a 1 2 3 economical seventh for James Paxton. We go to the eighth. The Red Sox lead the Blue Jays 4-0. Verdugo has a base hit. Here's Yoshida who hit one to the moon his last time. Base hit into right field. His third hit. Doogie around second. Here's Springer's throw all the way to third and won't get him. And holding on at first base, Yoshida. Two singles and a home run. Red Sox in business again. Infield reined in with runners at second and third. Turner with a high fly ball to center field. Varsho getting underneath. Verdugo back to tag and he is in to score and that's how you do that he is in to make it five to nothing the big story has been the big guy on the hill Paxton Kirk at second Merrifield at first a little dribbler here Raffi will go to the bag and get it out there and what an effort tonight by James Paxton you cannot say enough about it I mean back to back to see Bayo you know have the no no through seven and then the very next evening, James Paxton comes here to Toronto and does this. He was absolutely fantastic. You were concerned. Last time he walked off the mound, the fourth with a sore knee. And he hey, I'm not concerned him. anymore. No, no <laughs> one, I'm not concerned anymore. He's fantastic. 110 pitches. Brilliant. Leaves behind a couple of base runners. 5 0 the Red Sox. Trying to finish him here. He does. Oh. Right by him. 97 to strike him out. Two men left. James Paxton in line for the win, and the Red Sox shutting out the Blue Jays. 5 0 after eight. Three outs from a shutout series opening win in Toronto. Red Sox leading 5 0, and with that cushion, they'll stay away from the closer, Kenley Jansen, and go to Caleb Ord. Here's Matt Chapman, two down in the ninth, 5 0 the score. Swing and a pop up, should do it on the infield, drifting into shallow right center field. Arroyo now creeps onto the dirt, two hand grab. Ball game over. The Red Sox losing streak comes to an end with an emphatic 5 0 win in Toronto. James Paxton was spectacular again in his home country.